Hello Pisces, we're back. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network. We are going to be doing another reading. Let's see what the messages are. Let's start with one of these Pisces RS cards. Anything y'all need to know below in the description box, okay? Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate all of you guys who contribute. And if you would like to contribute to the channel at all, um, please use the PayPal link below, you guys. It always comes off a little pretentious, I guess, when I say it. But look, if you would like to help out the channel and you do want to donate, please just use the PayPal link, okay? It's nothing about it. It's nothing big. You know, you guys don't have to. Please do not feel obligated. I just know sometimes you guys want to. So if you don't mind, it would be great. Anything else you need to know is below, like personal reading information, merch, um, the membership, okay and i have been posting some vid videos on the nutcase network you guys so if you want to check those out they're mostly collective but i am working on doing some zodiac sign readings so check those out if you'd like okay y'all put the brains in the comments pisces emojis crystal balls whatever y'all want to do okay for pisces let's see guardian angels archangel spirit guides and ancestors Father, Mother, God for Pisces. What is going on with Pisces at this time, Spirit? Okay. Abundance is yours. See the magic within. Yeah. You have a lot of magic. It's like you literally... You know what? I think a lot of you guys are starting to realize how you have uh, grown. And I feel like because of this, you're starting to realize your, your magic, your skills, your abilities... The power that you have over your own life, over your existence, over your situations. Like you can literally change your circumstances overnight, it feels like. Okay. And we have guidance and royalty. You're being guided towards uh, the way that you're really supposed to live, Pisces. I feel like a lot of you guys are not living the way you're supposed to be living, which means you're not really like, I'm not saying you're not doing right or you're doing anything wrong with that per se i just feel like you have to understand how much leverage that you have at this time you have to understand how much leverage that you have at this time you have a great deal um, because you can literally mold your life into whatever the fuck you want it to be okay you're coming into royalty or you're becoming royalty, okay? Your spirit guides are guiding you in a way where you can be regal, be classy. And just like hold up and like withhold the standards that are in alignment with who you really are. Um, basically not to take anything less than what you deserve. Abundance is yours and I think you're realizing it, okay? You're starting to see your own magic. I really think people... I don't want to say people had you fucked up, but they really do. Um, but I really feel like you had your own self fucked up because you've been giving your power away for way too long to people and situations and focusing. Yep. Caution. Proceed with caution. I feel like that's what spirit has been wanting you to do is like chill out. OK, be very cautious of who you allow in your life because people are literally stealing your energy. OK, and there's about to be a lot of abundance coming into your life. Um, you're being guided to know your worth and to see your magic. So you're not giving it away to the wrong motherfucking people. And they come in different disguises. Like sometimes their mask is familiar and you've experienced, experienced it before. But I feel like all different types of people and they bullshit is getting thrown at you in different types of ways, Pisces. Okay. What else for Pisces? What else? Did it come out again? Oh no. Halloween. So something about the month of October is significant. The date of October 31st, literally on Halloween, could be very significant. Access denied, bound, jumping to conclusions. <sighs> mm. There may have been a situation that happened around Halloween that you were jumping to conclusions about I feel like I feel like you were being protected from someone who was trying to attach themselves to you mm. 
Yeah. You may have gotten blocked from an opportunity that you felt like was unfair, but it was to protect you because someone did not have your best interest at heart. Can I get one more card, please, for Pisces out of this deck? Mirroring. Yeah, so something that happened around Halloween could be happening now. A situation could be mirroring. You could be mirroring a person. You and someone else may have had similar experiences. Um, and we have new job and transformation. See? There was something that you wanted in October or something that you wanted last year around October that you could not have because it was not right for you. Now this new job is coming in and there's about to be a transformation. It's going to be a very similar experience or it may feel very similar to what happened to you in October. Um, but it's actually going to be different because this is actually meant for you. I feel like whatever is what whatever this is it's actually meant for you it's actually something that you're supposed to be doing and it's not something that someone is trying to do to victimize you okay this is not someone trying to take advantage of you you even could have had some type of success in october that didn't last okay but the same thing is happening again at this current moment at this time okay what else for pisces guardian angels archangels your guides and ancestors for Pisces you could be discovering what somebody did to you around October somebody could have sabotaged um, an opportunity for you but they did you a favor mm -hmm. yes girl they did you a favor Pisces because somebody tried to keep you from getting a job or stop you from getting an opportunity but they did you a favor because they made something better for you or they allow for a new opportunity to come in because that opportunity wasn't right for you anyway. So somebody thought they was doing something by, I don't know, getting you fired, not hiring you, holding you back in a situation. Okay. Yes, baby girl. What is it? They thought they were holding you back, but they really were not. Okay. They were the one who was put in place by the universe to stop you from getting that opportunity because it wasn't right for you, okay? What else for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? King of Swords. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be exhibiting this King of Swords energy being very wise, strategic, having a lot of experience from the battles that you faced in the past, from the things that you've gone through in the past. Yep, Temperance and the Devil, wow. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio even. Um, so the universe is balancing something out. And I think that's whatever this opportunity was from Halloween. Yeah, there's some type of balance coming from an opportunity. There's some type of balance that's coming in the form of an opportunity that I feel like you didn't get before that you were supposed to get. Yeah. The universe is, I feel, repaying you for something that somebody tried to take from you or steal from you. Uh, or this is just a new job that you're going to get to make up for something that somebody is taking from you or stealing from you now. But you, But it's like there has to be a balance of whatever's in excess in your life so if you're spending money excessively if you're smoking if you're drinking if you're fucking if you are you know um just investing into the wrong things or you have negative thought processes the universe has to balance that out first you have to go through some type of um training or you have to go through some type of cleansing that spirit is sending you through in order for you to be given this opportunity pisces Um, also, I feel like things, it's just things that are being removed. People, places, and things that are being removed from your life in order for you to have this opportunity. What's the King of Swords? It could be a, a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Sag, or a Capricorn that has to be removed. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's coming to tell you something. It's going to make you very happy. Whoever this is, this air energy, somebody's communicating something that's going to make you very happy. Okay. 
This could be a long-term contract that you're being presented with. A long-term job opportunity, a sign-on bonus, 10 of Pentacles. There could be like a moving bonus. I keep picking that up. Like somebody's going to be relocating for work and your job is going to pay for it. Or whoever this is offering you something has a big payout for you or a big incentive for you to come and work for them. What's the King of Swords and this Ten of Pentacles with that tower? Yes, unexpected. Shocking, a shocking amount of money. A lot, like the universe is putting a lot of things together. Like God, whoever you believe in, shit is getting worked out. <laughs> things are getting moved around. Okay, something else that was unstable has collapsed and maybe this person is telling you about it. We have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. You may have definitely walked away from someone in your past here or you walked away from something that was just dysfunctional, a conversation that just wasn't going anywhere, a relationship that wasn't going anywhere, a business a partner or a business that wasn't going anywhere you're tired you just feel like you're not getting what you deserve in a situation and you you don't care if you don't know where you're going or you don't care if you don't know where you're going to end up but you're going to go because wherever you end up is going to be better than whatever it is you're dealing with now so some of you could be about to get an interview yeah i really feel like you tried to hold on to something or someone Whatever this is, I feel like you were holding on to something or someone um, because you didn't want to let it go. But it's like you realized you had to let it go. Okay, you started looking at commitment differently or you started looking at your opportunities differently. Yeah, there's a lot of changes. This whatever this is is there's a lot of changes that are going to have to happen in order for you to be able to either receive this opportunity or for you to be able to take take it like receive it as somebody presents it to you. So, either you have to make changes for this to be presented to you and there's a lot of changes you have to make when it comes to like your behavior, your habits, your attitude, all that type of stuff. Um there may be a lot of changes that need to be made um, when it comes to relationships and people that you have in your life or that you allow around you for this opportunity to even appear. Once it appears, there may still be more changes that have to take place in order for you to sustain it. And then I feel like even more changes are going to happen for you in your life after you um, accept whatever this is, uh, um, take the job or accept this person or whatever. Um, then more things are going to change, but I feel like they're going to be things that change for the better. Like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Tower card, I just feel like this is unexpected money, y'all. I just feel like somebody has some type of unexpected money coming in. I also feel like someone could have lost their job because they tried to keep you from getting a job. Um, there's a transformation that's really just, it's just major. And I feel like this could be an opportunity that's coming back around again. Um, like the universe is bringing it back around because it was always meant for you anyway. Like if you weren't ready the first time, then cool. There may have been some things you had to work on, figure out, change about yourself, do better. But um, overall, I think that is something that was meant for you. Somebody is devastated and, and shocked and surprised that you walked away from them. Or that you walked away from an opportunity or that you're not more mad about something, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that they're they're wondering like how you just can de detach. Um, maybe because they're not used to that. I don't know. I am itching my arm. What else for Pisces? I really don't know what this is. So the golden mirror and the hammer. Yeah, so somebody was narcissistic. And they basically sabotage the connection or sabotage something in your life. That's what I was feeling with this hammer card, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, uh, repetitive, persistent, working on it. And then you have the golden mirror, which is self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. Okay. So there could be somebody narcissistic here that tries to break you down and then wants to be responsible for building you back up and say, oh, it was me. I helped Pisces. 
Um, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation. Yeah, there may be somebody who unexpectedly reaches out to you to communicate about like maybe going to dinner or communicate about um, having an interview or having a meeting or conversation um, for this job possibly. And then the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, um, fear of intimacy, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. I was about to say, somebody's got intimacy issues. Because they, they, every time they get close to someone or they get closer um, to what they want, they run away or they self-sabotage. This could be you. You could have been self-sabotaging something, but the universe is bringing it back around to give you another opportunity that you might have fucked up in the past. Now's the time for you not to fuck it up. And I think you know that. Um, but I think somebody knows also that they messed up with you because they lost an opportunity or they lost a very sacred connection with you. You walked away from it because you just were dissatisfied with their communication, their conversation, whatever was going on. Um, and I feel like they may have had some part in sabotaging this, like, but it was because of manipulation. It's like they weren't trying to sabotage the relationship. They were trying to manipulate you. Um, and I feel like that's where they fucked up. Um, now, I do want to see, just real quick. I do want to see what is this tower and this Ten of Pentacles. It's like somebody lost something that they were building on for a long time. I don't know. This could be a sibling. Some of y'all have a brother uh, who you're not dealing with. They could be a Scorpio. You could have a brother that you're not dealing with who is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Scorpio, possibly a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, maybe even a Virgo, and you're not dealing with this person. What's the tower? The two of wands, uh, unexpected decision, or somebody's finally making a decision, uh, or there could be something that happens that's very shocking that causes someone to make a decision or a decision that someone's making is very shocking okay we have the hierophant and the knight of pinnacles yeah whatever this is is very shocking something is unexpected something is very surprising it's like what i can't believe this i feel like there could be a company offering you a position and you're like what What is this two of wands? The magician. Yep. Somebody is shocked that you walked away from them because they were trying to manipulate some type of decision that you were making. Or they were trying to manipulate someone else's decision about you. And you just walked away. Okay, seven of wands and the five of wands. Yeah, trying to cause conflict to block a situation or to block you from getting something or to block someone from you. I don't know. You guys are definitely manifesting a new start. Um, I feel like you're really for, you're you're really protected from conflict, regardless of what may be going on, whatever the fuck this is. You're protected from conflict. Whoever's trying to come at you, they can't get to you. Whoever's trying to manipulate you, they can't manipulate you because the universe, your spirit guides, guardian angels, all these great energies that are are surrounding you are literally putting up a barrier between you and anything that wants to come against you, okay? You guys are taking action here to manifest your goals. You're making a decision to get out of a comfort zone. Um, you're realizing that you have the whole world in your hands and that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. And I feel like there's about to be some unexpected results that are going to be shocking and very surprising that could lead to some type of employment, okay? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody's been trying to manipulate you for a long time. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's you're you're being given some type of financial assistance. Hold on, please. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, Pisces. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you guys. You're being given some type of financial assistance or you're being given some type of maybe payment. There's a payment that's coming in because a decision has been made. This could be some type of legal decision. I don't know. Uh, what it is particularly, but somebody's been trying to cause conflict and block this from happening. Not sure what it is. Okay. 
We have the world card and the page of cups. So a cycle is coming to a close because you're being given something that you've been waiting for, I feel, um, for a long time. And it's allowing you to like make some type of dream come true to possibly transform your life, transform your business. Could be coming from an air sign or this could be like a lawyer or a judge or somebody. I don't know. Um, what's the, what else is the Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles? The Knight of Cups. Yeah. This could be a gift that somebody is giving you. Or whatever this job is could be considered as a gift and it's repaying you for something that somebody has been trying to keep from you. So wherever someone has been trying to keep you stuck, stagnant, not paying child support, not paying alimony, um, your company not wanting to promote you, you got fucked up coworkers, whatever is going on that's blocking your money from flowing or that's trying to disrupt your money um, from flowing, somebody has been trying to manipulate a decision, yeah, that's, that's being basically released or removed that cycle is coming to a close so you can finally pursue your dreams and you like the things that really make you happy because i feel like the universe has been seeing somebody um just be the seven of wands five of wands real defensive could be leo energy or just somebody who's just you know very argumentative wanting to fight want to argue you're not with all that shit you with the peace this has been an abusive situation um or a situation where you've been really beaten up, battered. Okay. You're tired. I feel like you're really exhausted. You've been holding on and you are just tired as fuck. Like, Oh my God. <sighs> Y'all know what I'm saying. Mm hmm. You could have been penny pinching, having financial issues. Somebody's been financially abusing you or somebody has been putting you in a situation where the opportunities, you know, that you're really supposed to have or that you're supposed to have been given. You don't get it because somebody doesn't want you to get it. Kind of feels like discrimination or racism um, in a situation. Some of you are running away from love right now because you just keep meeting a bunch of narcissistic ass manipulative ass people who try to play mind games with you okay i feel like once you invest in yourself and like just say fuck it that's when you're gonna meet the person who you really you know want to be with okay what else does pisces need to know in this situation before we go what else does pisces need to know in this situation before we go <laughs> insomnia what is this depression in love. So somebody can't sleep because they're depressed. Somebody is depressed and they can't sleep because they're in love with you. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. And the four of pentacles right there. Okay. You are not budging. You are not budging in this situation. So because you and someone else are not budging, the universe is stepping in to destroy some stupid ass shit. I don't know how else to say it. I'm, I, I don't have the energy nor the desire to keep censoring myself. I'm so tired of that shit. I don't care. Um, that's why if y'all would like to donate, I would appreciate it. But if not, I really don't give a fuck about that either. I'm gonna say what I need to say. Um, I mean, I, when you when you contribute, I, I give a fuck. But you know what I'm saying, okay? I'm not explaining myself. What is this insomnia for Pisces? What is insomnia in this message for Pisces? Five of Swords. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. That's why your motherfucking ass can't sleep at night because you damn depressed. They're trying to find a way to get back at you. Somebody's trying to find five of cups. And that's what I'm saying. And we saw the five of wands, five of swords, five of cups. So somebody has been withholding money from you because they are, they can't sleep. They are pressed. <sighs> Fuck me. Like, oh my God, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, bro. Man, I, it doesn't fucking matter. Y'all don't care. There's still some in there. I need to push the straw down. Um, Y'all just do not care. Depressed. Five of Cups, depression. And they're just literally... Somebody is literally killing themselves at... Uh, like... <laughs> Somebody is literally killing themselves trying to hold you back. This is crazy. 
And it's someone from your past that's unhappy that you get to walk away and like make new friends and be with her. like I don't understand who this person is. But they've been trying to hold you back and block you and you've been trying to hold on for so long. I really think something is coming through to just blow your ass out the water Pisces to where they can't even fucking see you. Like the universe is about to blow your little fish ass into another part of the ocean or into a whole different body of water. So this person can you may even you may even relocate or move but like for real, somebody is literally being stopped. Anybody who's coming in, giving you these inconsistent ass feelings, you're not with it. You're not dealing with it no more. Okay. If people are not giving anything to you, you're not giving anything to them. If people don't want to text you, if people don't want to call you, if people don't want to take you out on dates, you're not investing a lot of energy. Somebody could even be in a situation where mm, they're trying to, they could be possibly trying to get you to reach out and talk to them. Like, I don't know if somebody just cut you off all of a sudden or just disappeared and they're trying to, like, uh, get you to reach out to them by not saying anything to you to test you and see what you do and all this other stuff. Y'all, any of these fucking childish ass, stupid ass, petty ass, silly ass, bullshit ass games, y'all are not playing it with these dumb motherfuckers out here. I'm so serious. This is the, 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 this is the, the body of your rage. Everything that you have, channel it into whatever you trying to make for your abundance. What else for Pisces in this situation? Oh, look at how I caught the card. Y'all, look at it. fell in between the crease of my arm booty, booty crack, okay? Uh, the knight, someone is coming in strong with a desire to conquer and a willingness to fight for what they want. Okay, but is that conquering positive or is it negative? I don't know. You might have to see what that means when it happens, okay? At the bottom of the deck, the femme fatale. Proceed with caution. Things are not what they seem. You'll be lured into a trap if ignored. And the healer. Pay attention to your body. There's something that needs healing. Take time to rest and recover. I just feel like somebody's trying to come into your energy and fuck shit up, and you are not having it. Somebody's about to have a rude awakening because they thought that they were going to be able to breadcrumb you for a long time or, um, you know, I don't know what they thought. It doesn't matter what they thought. I really don't give a fuck what they thought. I don't think you care what they thought either. But whatever it is they thought wrong, they got you all the way fucked up. They really don't know who they're dealing with and they don't know what type of wrath and beast they're about to unleash if they keep on poking at you. It's about to be some problems. Okay. Whatever this is, you need to proceed with caution with this knight coming in. Uh, with this saying, the knight, we have the knight of cups. Somebody is trying to uh, trying to uh, put rose-colored glasses on your face, breadcrumb you, um, love bomb you, um, you know, gaslight you in situations. It's a femme fatale type situation. Things are not what they seem. They're trying to trap you in something, five of swords. They can't sleep at night. They sabotage the connection because they were way too manipulative and you picked up on it. And that they were trying to manipulate your decisions. And they're shocked that whatever it is that they said or did did not work. And I just think that out of all of the times that y'all have had to deal with this, you're about to get some type of blessing for it. So you take advantage of your blessing and don't fuck it away. Okay. What's the advice for Pisces? Selenite, clear the clutter. So if you don't need it, throw it out. That's how I've been doing in my house, too. Relationships, people, things, uh, places I don't need to go. If your ass don't need it, don't need to be there, don't want to deal with it, throw their ass to the motherfucking trash. Drag it to the curb, just like I did that motherfucking grill that my ex-husband tried to leave over here like my backyard was his trash can. Okay, if you're new, go back into the readings and watch. Okay, I told the story one of them times. I put a free grill sign out there on that grill, and it was gone in two days. Okay, chrysoprase, allow yourself to receive, or chrysoprase, citrine, bring in the light, Pisces, so be positive. Allow yourself to receive. You deserve to receive. You are receiving. You will receive. Everything about receiving is coming to you. Abundance is yours is right there. So spirit is telling you right now that everything that you want, you can have. You just have to believe that you can have it and act accordingly, bitch. All right, thank you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, you guys.
leave donations if you'd like join the membership if you'd like book a personal if you'd like get merch it's all cute whatever you want to do leave a comment below pisces and remember huh, this is our circle booze bye